Volvo's new decision to turn down elite AVs just as prerequisites highlights the troubles and intricacy the car business has in changing to electric vehicles. However, there have been areas of strength for electric portability and the firm burdens the need for a more adjusted approach including a few powertrain decisions. Volvo's position highlights the sober-minded difficulties and monetary truth of a quick switch to an all-electric portfolio, including concerns about store network limitations, the charging framework's readiness, and the different pace of EV reception across a few business sectors. Presently, in an especially difficult quarter, the vehicle business is dealing with a combination of issues harming tasks and productivity especially with the non-stop semiconductor shortage. Production network interferences actually influence fabricating plans and create setbacks for vehicle conveyance. Makers have been driven by these bottlenecks to decrease yield targets, which has brought about lower than anticipated deals in pay. Rising natural substances and calculated expenses are additionally compressing. Net revenues further exasperating makers' monetary circumstances. The overall semiconductor deficiency is among the clearest store network issues. Present-day vehicles rely upon semiconductors, here and there known as chips, to run everything from complex driver help advancements to theater setups. As people move to remote work and learning, the coronavirus plug set off a blast popular for gadgets, subsequently twisting semiconductor fabrication from the auto business. This, along with pandemic-related creation terminations and calculated challenges, made for a serious chip deficiency. Numerous automakers have along these lines needed to stop or downsize creation, bringing about significant postpones and vehicle conveyances and monetary misfortunes. One more significant issue for the auto industry, particularly with connection to the assembly of electric vehicles, is unrefined substance deficiencies. Materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which are vital for battery production, have become more popular as electric vehicles become more sought after. Broad stockpile networks associated with mining and refining these assets can be promptly hindered by political agitation, labor strikes, or ecological guidelines. These natural substance deficiencies have an impact on the assembly of electric vehicles, as well as raising costs and influencing their overall reasonableness. Store network interference is also heavily dependent on international pressures and exchange strategies. Exchange clashes, levies, and authorizations can obstruct item and material flows across borders, resulting in increased costs and delays. Exchange clashes between large countries like China and the US, for example, can cause charges on auto parts and materials, consequently impacting the productivity and effectiveness of automakers. International turmoil in regions wealthy and imperative crude assets can likewise cause supply lines to drop, as the majority ruling Republic of Congo, a major cobalt maker, can bear witness to. Producers are utilizing various strategies to limit these interferences. By buying parts and materials from a few sellers and regions, one can differentiate in store network and further develop strength by reducing dependence on any one source. Furthermore, assisting with lessening the dangers associated with overall stockpile chains is putting resources into the nearby assembly and onshoring a few modern tasks. Utilizing state-of-the-art innovations like man-made reasoning and blockchain will also assist with providing chain perceivability and recognizability, allowing makers to quickly detect and deal with such interruptions. One significant thought is expansion which has been ceaselessly ascending in numerous countries all over the planet. Rising costs for items and services decrease shoppers buying power, subsequently making first-class things like vehicles less sensibly valued. Higher costs for essentials such as food, shelter, and power force shoppers to delay or quit any pretense of purchasing new vehicles. This leads to an interpretation of lower interest in deals for makers, which confuses endeavors at stock control and creation-level administration. One more component of financial vulnerability are national banks' loan cost increases intended to battle expansion. Higher loan fees increase borrowing costs for both businesses and individuals. More expensive vehicle credits for shoppers imply that vehicle acquisitions might be deterred, 
Higher rates can limit cash flow for firms seeking advancement, development, and switching to electric vehicles. These monetary limits can block industry adaptation and dial back improvement. Still a significant issue. Supply chains influence the vehicle business incredibly. The coronavirus pestilence is exacerbating the semiconductor shortage, which actually impacts lead times and creation plans. A shortage of essential electrical parts causes manufacturers to reduce yield, resulting in fewer vehicles available for purchase. This impacts pay as well as the presentation of new models and innovation, hence deferring modern advancement. Worldwide international contentions give the monetary scene still one more degree of entanglement. Exchange clashes, particularly those involving huge countries like China and the US, can bring about duties and exchange limitations that block item development and raise costs. Moreover, affecting the accessibility and cost of crude assets imperative for vehicle creation causes political distress in significant regions. These international issues create an inconsistent business environment that challenges producers' vital production arrangements. The shift to electric vehicles in the car area presents further monetary hardships. Although, long-haul supportability and bringing down fossil fuel byproducts rely upon EVs, their assembly expenses are to some degree high. Research and improvement, new creation strategies, and the development of charging foundations should be in every way exceptionally put resources into via automakers. These are imperative, yet at a time the sector is, as of now, under monetary strain from lower deals and expanded running expenses. These monetary risks call for automakers to create versatile and solid plans. This covers broadening supply chains to reduce dependence on specific regions or providers, financing advances to build effectiveness, and researching elective plans of action including vehicle memberships or shared versatility administrations. To help facilitate a portion of the financial hardships, automakers likewise need to communicate with lawmakers to contend for positive strategies, remembering ventures for charging foundations and motivators for the acknowledgement of electric vehicles. The significant benefit of switching to electric vehicles is the apparent drop in fossil fuel byproducts. There can be significant social and natural impacts from mining lithium, cobalt and other metals utilized in batteries, support for harmless ecosystem mining techniques, and the making of reusing innovations to extract valuable parts from spent batteries is totally indispensable. Second life uses for EV batteries, such as energy stockpiling frameworks for homes and organizations, can likewise assist with bringing down squander and broadening their helpful lifetime. Volvo's position mirrors a bigger industry view that during this short-lived period, a different way to deal with powertrain innovation could be required. To meet different market needs and shopper inclinations, numerous producers are pushing for a blend of half-braid, electric and gas-powered motors. This viable procedure seeks to strike a balance between the quick monetary reality and the drawn-out objective of bringing down fossil fuel byproducts and arriving at manageable targets. In light of everything, Volvo's dismissal of EVs, just principles, and the more broad hardship standing up to the auto business feature, the intricacy of the current scene in the area. Automakers are having a difficult quarter due to store network issues, monetary vulnerabilities, and the monetary tensions of changing to electric portability. Exploring these deterrents effectively and keeping on towards a more manageable future rely upon a reasonable and adaptable methodology, including a few powertrain decisions. So, what are your views about Volvo rejecting EV-only mandates and the automotive sector facing a difficult quarter? Share with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.